Uh, I'm Arthur, I'm the lead designer on Barnacle Heroes. As the designer on Barnacle Heroes, there's obviously a, a, a lot to do and it was a, a very large undertaking. So you know, we had to identify what gameplay mechanics we wanted. We then had to try and work out exactly how many characters we were going to be able to play, uh, whether it was going to be single player or multiplayer, um, and, and what was going to be best for, for the, the Bionicle brand. With Bionicle Heroes, we, we have uh, a volcanic zone. So rather than being a stereotypical volcanic zone, it was like, let's try and do something really entertaining and exciting with the background environment. So the actual basis for, for the sort of fun gameplay is, is, is not bland. All these characters, they, they, they actually have personality, they have histories, they have relationships with each other. And, and not only that, there's, there's locations where these characters move from, you know, times that, that, they, that they were present in. Um, and they, they evolve, it's, it's, it's a complete universe. When you first set about uh, creating a, a level for, for, the, for Barnacle Heroes, um, the first thing that, that I do is, is look at exactly what we're trying to achieve from the level. So obviously you have a location, um, the location being on Voya Nui, whether it's, it's the jungle or, or the stronghold. Um, once you have the location, it's trying to, to work out what would be interesting. Then once it has its sort of basis, uh, is then drawn out as, as a map um, so that the, the level artists can, can build that in, uh, in three dimensions. Then from there it will evolve and, and they will add their own um, unique sort of um, take on what I come up with as a designer, which then results in the, um, the stunning environments you'll see in Barnacle Heroes. The Barnacle Universe is huge uh, and so what we've tried to do is, is make sure that, that there are great characters in there. So we've, we've included um, new figures that, that people may not yet have, um, some of the titans um, like Brutarka. And then we've looked back historically at, again, some key figures from, from the Barnacle Universe like Sidorak and Rudarka. And, and again, we've incorporated them into the game. One of the, the most rewarding things about being a designer is, is uh, seeing the, the end result of something that you, you may have thought of. So, uh, for example, um, there's one of the jungle levels in Barnacle Heroes where initially you come around the corner in a, a very calm area and, and you would see this huge impressive waterfall and you'd just be able to sort of take a few seconds to, to obviously take that in. But we do try to focus uh, our attention on making the best games. But at the same time, uh, we're all gamers at heart, so we do play an awful lot of games in our spare time. You'll see things done and, and see them done to a really high level. And as such, you'll realise that something you may have thought was, was good enough just isn't. So, so you, that you're always playing other games for fun, but at the same time, to, to, to widen your own knowledge and make sure that what we're producing with Barnacle Heroes is basically the pinnacle of, of gaming. As a designer, there are times when we may not necessarily know enough about a character or enough about a period of, of Bionicle history. So we will use forums like bzpower.com and as such, from there, we, we gather the information we need to, to help us and, and to ensure the game is as good as it is. If I was to give advice to anyone who wanted to become a game designer, then the, the most important thing is to play games. If, if you can sit and play a game and realise why certain aspects might be good or might not be good and you can get a thorough understanding of why that's the case then that's basically the first step to being a game designer. Now that Barnacle Heroes is complete we're obviously incredibly happy with the game and the finished product. It's engrossing, it's fun, it's rewarding and, and it really is a, a great summary of the Barnacle universe. We're really looking forward to fans playing the game and letting us know what they think.